All right, everybody, welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. Uh, I went ahead and slept through the night, and one thing that uh, you didn't see, but I want to comment on, is that we have a new mission to pay our taxes. So if you look up in the top, uh, actually it doesn't show up in the top right, but I can hit this tab and go over to management and you can see we owe 153 for taxes. So that's not too bad. Um, so one thing I wanted to mention was that I said in the last episode we would, you know, add another house because, you know, we want to be able to get more workers, but that's actually a bad idea given where we're at right now, because we can't actually get more workers. Um, the game limits the amount of workers you can have based on your dynasty reputation. Now, one thing that irritates me is it won't let you see, like in the same way you can look at the technology tree and see like what else you need to do. Um, we're not able to look and see what we need to do to get more dynasty, like how high our dynasty rep has to be to get both more people and more uh, so we're going to put these bronze axes in here because I'm going to make the iron axe my active okay so I'm going to go here to my tools and we're going to put the iron axe on number one and we're going to put the wooden hoe at seven and we're going to put, what's the other one I wanted to put in? The iron knife at, I, actually we don't need to put that in a spot because when you go to cut up a corpse uh, it just does that so I don't think we have the scythe uh, let's check up here I know we we were close to it being gone uh, it's not the scythe it's a uh, sickle so anyways I, I know I didn't do a very good job of introducing the the episode here but welcome back everybody if you've been watching the series you can see this grain is ready that grain is still not ripe I guess it'll ripen for the summertime uh, because it's spring there's a bunch of things we can plant including very importantly um, flax because you know we can sell that flax seed so we have a lot, a lot that we can and should do, but here's our copper sickle that I was talking about. I don't know if this will be enough. We'll try to uh, to get this grain done. Otherwise, we're going to be building a smithy soon, and we will... Oh, it's rye. That's right. Sometimes you can catch two at a time. Uh, see, now I need to... I need to build the smithy and food storage. Whoa, did you hear that? That was a bug flew by my head. So where do we want to build the smithy? We've got, we could maybe do up here somewhere. I like to have the smithy close to the resources because um, we'll be needing a lot of resources from it. So I'd be okay with actually just putting it kind of up here on this corner and we'll leave a little bit of space here so you can get around to, down to the workshop. Let's see if this will fit. Let's go buildings production and the smithy this seems pretty good to me just right there okay we need eight stone and this is the nice thing you know we gathered a bunch of stones in the winter so 
we'll, and we have that person who's gathering logs for us. So hopefully this will have the things on hand to build this. Okay, we need eight logs, and that's all it's going to tell us for right now. Oh, we're at 18. Hmm, interesting. Oh, wow, that's so slow. I can't wait for my carry weight to go up. That makes a lot of this stuff better. Uh, now, I think this building is wattle, but it might be wood. We might need logs for the whole thing. Okay, so eight sticks and a log. All right. And then that's straw. Okay, great. We can do this. We should have everything on hand to do this. I don't know how many sticks we have in here, but we have 22. That will get us close. And we're going to need probably, let's take five logs. And then we'll come back and get the straw. We'll probably actually need more straw than that. So we'll have to go down to the river and get some. Actually, we do have some in... What am I trying to think? Uh, in the barn. We have some in the barn. So we'll get that too. Boy, these bugs. I, I, I think that might be more recently added. I don't think that that was in the game before. Okay, so we need, we're gonna need two more logs and a bunch of straw. So we'll do that one, and that one. Eight times four, we're literally gonna be need two more straw than we have on hand. That's a bummer. But since we're gonna be building another building that is, I'm blanking on right now. Food storage, since we're gonna be building food storage, we're gonna need more of this stuff anyways, so we'll be all right. So one thing you can do, if we want to, we can move our workers. So if you, you know, like feel like you are good to go with a certain product you can move your worker for a day or half a day or something and then move them back I tend to set their work and then just leave it that's that just is my style but you don't have to do that so once we get this built, I'm actually going to go ahead and craft a stone sickle and or yeah, sickle and finish that harvesting job. I know, surprise surprise, stamina is an issue again. Okay. So the smithy is built now, <clears throat> we have like three different jobs that we can do here. Over here is a workbench that allows us to make a bunch of stuff. I'll use that in a minute. Then the forge, we can take ore from the mine and we forge it into metal bars. And then over here is where we actually craft the different tools. So this is for copper and bronze and then iron. So these are like an increasing durability. So copper tools are better than stone, but not great. Bronze tools, that's what you spend most of your playthrough with. And then the iron ones are like higher quality, but they're harder to make because in order to make iron, you need to be able to uh, mine iron and you need a mine to do that. So we want to make a stone sickle right here. We need a hundred for the scheme to do it. And now we need four stones. So let's see if we can find one, 
two, three, four. All right, lovely. So now we come down here and we can craft a stone sickle. Now this is good for a number of reasons. Uh, that's it will give us the crafting experience making it, but also now we can make these until basically until we get a mine set up and unlock bronze tools. We'll, we'll need to use the stone sickle. And we can make these and put them in our tool area so that the workers, when we eventually get farm workers, will use these for a while. So it's pretty important. So we have 31 rye that we got from this season's harvest. So we're going to come down here and thresh this rye. And then I will put the rye grain. You can see we have that that is our rye grain. That's all the rye grain we have. And we'll put the straw back in here. So we have 85 straw. That'll be something to remember. Um, now I have a number of things that I would like to do with this spring. And I think what I want to do right now is put in the rest of our fields. And then we'll have our kind of main agricultural area all good to go. So the farm is actually listed as a building. So we'll do this. This one I don't want to be quite as big as that last one, um, but probably we'll go four over. Right, two, three, four. And then we switch to our, did I do that right? two, three, four. So you can also make, um, is that? Yeah. You can also make, I believe, a stone hoe with, at the, where we just made this, the where we just made the stone sickle. So I may do that. This is going to go pretty fast. Now this should help us level up our farming as well. All of this farm work. And we'll go into town and we'll buy manure and we'll bring it to the barn and turn it into fertilizer. So we can get these fields planted. I find this part of the game incredibly relaxing. I don't know. It just just does it for me. Everybody's got their thing and this is something I really enjoy. Okay, so we want to do another building, a farm, and a field. We want to leave a little bit of space between there. Well, you don't need to. It's not like built into the game that you need to, but I'm gonna do that. So we'll go probably that big. Should I go one more? No, it feels like feels like here. So this is going to be a three. This is pretty small. Hmm. You know what? Let's go with it for now. We can always we can always uh, change it down the road. I don't need huge fields because our population is not that big yet. Um, I definitely want to get this Unigost storyline done as soon as I can so that we'll have more space. One thing, uh, we'll go see what it costs to build a stone hoe. Um, 
I forget what I was saying. So stone tools, a stone hoe, we need a log and four stones. Okay, that we can do. Log and four stones. So we have those two people working for us and we're still using the equipment pretty fast. And this one, you have to come over here to do it. You can't just... Um, oh, it actually put it in our... It equipped it. That's pretty nice. But this one, you can't just craft on your own. You have to go to that area. I think this little field here might end up being our our veggie patch. Just thinking out loud. So the next one will be bigger field. This will be one, two, three, four, five, field five. Farming I think maybe like that. So five by Is that five by five, five by six, five by seven? This is gonna be our huge main field. I'll probably make this flax. It bothers me that I can't have more workers. Because I do like putting somebody on farming, even though I end up doing the farming faster than they can. I just, there's something kind of cool about watching your people go out and, you know, even if I do the job four times faster than them, just seeing them out in the field makes it feel very more, much more alive to me. You know, to each their own, I guess. Alright, and then after we get this last field put in, we are going to build food storage, which will help us with maintaining the people that we do have. So I won't have to keep putting food in their house. Five. You know what? I think I might be done here. I'll put a sixth field in right here another time, but we don't need it right now. So let's come over here. We're going to do building and food storage, which I think I might actually put this way if it'll let me. Somewhere like here. Well, maybe we do go ahead and face it this way, like inwards towards the settlement. Sorry about the camera work there. Something like this. Then when we're getting crops out of here, we can just bring them straight over. Okay, we need 14 stones. There were some up here, but I don't think we have 14. We'll have to look and see if there's any laying around. I thought I saw one up here. Should be some scattered around the fields. Two. We literally need one more stone. And we're going to have to run up here to get logs. One more stone. Stamina level is too low. There we go. One more stone. Well, we are really uh, getting some work done today, huh? <laughs> and we broke our hammer. I don't think we have any logs in here. They're up at the other building. Well, that's not great. I'm going to lay... I'm going to put the... What just happened? I want to throw the stone. Oh, I have to hit X to drop the stones. Okay, so they're going to sit there. 
took me longer to do that than if I just would have ran up here. But I'm going to get all the logs because we need two to make a hammer. Actually, can you make a stone building hammer? Probably. Oh boy. Uh, I thought it would be fine. I was incorrect. Maybe how about eight? Can I do eight? Yeah, I can do eight. So we'll go ahead and. Oh, I need four more sticks. Okay. Now we can make a wooden hammer. And two. Okay. We'll go grab our stones and then. I think the food storage is also going to be waddle. Hopefully it will be. How's this look over here? Eh, not bad. Could be could be better, could be worse. All right. We need seven more logs. We're going to need a lot more than that. So we'll have to chop down a couple trees. But I'll go ahead and use what we have here. I might actually grab one of those trees across the street. Because uh, I have to run down and get water anyways. So I'll be slow here. Hmm. Let's, let's just take six. So this will be the food storage, and we'll want to put the kitchen probably right here beside it. Okay, let's go get some water and chop down one of these maple trees. gonna need some food here in a bit but not quite yet all right and the other nice thing about an iron iron axe is uh, it takes fewer hits I don't, I don't know if it's fewer than a bronze but it's definitely fewer hits than a stone axe that was fortuitous that we got that in the last last episode. Okay, a lot of sticks. We need a lot, a lot of sticks. I, I don't think we put any sticks in here, but I'll check while I'm down here. No, no sticks there. Um. I guess we could always gather these ones. So we don't care about trees growing in and around these buildings. And then we can go gather more sticks up in the woods either direction if we want. Probably a good number of sticks down along the waterfront too. So we'll take these ones in here. Oh, here's uh, dandelions too. Remember we? Oh, that was not what I wanted to get. But these dandelions and daisies we had, are good for healing, and one of them helps with endurance, with energy. It's less water consumption. Here we go. Let's, let's go ahead and consume that so we don't get tired as fast while we're doing this, this building. So if you look at the green bar, it's going down slower because I ate that. If I was smarter about using my bonus in my boosts, I would be able to be more productive, I'm sure. So we need more logs. But we should be able to get most of the way around with these sticks and then 
probably one more tree. Gets the log part done. We're going to need logs for the roof, though, so it's probably two more trees. But these are pretty, you know, pretty stout, pretty tough buildings. Once they're built, you really just need to uh, repair them. Is it getting to be nighttime already? Dang, dude. Time flies when you're having fun. What about those? Yeah, those are logs. Yeah, we definitely need multiple trees. So I think what I'm going to do is head up here and I might not even be able to finish this today. I might have to finish this in the next the next in-game day. Here we go again with the stamina. Go ahead and take that stick with us too. And then I'll grab this one. We're already over encumbered, so this is probably silly. But... Okay, we can build a simple house. All right. I guess we're gonna have to go to town to get our manure tomorrow. Homie is worn out, too tired. So the simple house, so probably what we'll do is so basically the housing has different levels and those different levels are based on the amount of people that can live in them. So the house that, yeah, we're definitely going to finish this tomorrow. The houses that I built so far are just like the basic starter homes. The one that I just unlocked is a little bit bigger. These houses, you can have the two parents and then one child. The next level up, you can have two children. Uh, and it won't let you put multiple adults together. Uh, you can just have two parents. It, it won't let you be like, well, you know, I want these three dudes to live together. It won't let you do that. It won't even let you put two adults of the same sex in the same house. It just, it just won't let you do it. Um, it is getting late, but we have a little bit of light left, so I think I might try just taking down one more tree. One thing I'm doing different in this playthrough than the... Oh, I should get rid of uh, a bunch of these sticks. I should drop them off into storage. But one thing I'm doing differently in this playthrough compared to my first playthrough is that I am leaving the stumps. In my other playthrough, I was digging up the stumps because it's an extra log. And I thought, well, you know, why wouldn't I want an extra log? But now I know that I don't want to do that because if I leave it as a stump, the tree will grow back and I can get, you know, it's like renewable, renewable. Did you see how I did that? It's like renewable resource. All right, hopefully our people don't starve overnight since I did not check on their food. And I gave them some pottage, though, so they should be fine. And I'm going to sleep, and I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you so much for supporting the series. I'm having a lot of fun. I feel like we made some good progress. See you in the next one. Bye for now.